Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to install ringtones on your iPhone and we're going to do this entirely using the iPhone. That means you don't need a computer and you don't need a jailbreak. Let's get started. All right, so I've created this video in the past, but this specific one is going to be for iPhones that are running iOS 13 or later. It doesn't really matter which device you have, the process will be very similar. There are a few things that we need to do to prepare for it though, so I strongly recommend you watch the entire video from beginning to end. And if you have any issues, feel free to ask in the comments. I respond to every comment that comes my way. So first off, have your iPhone ready here and we're gonna be using Safari for this video. So make sure you have the application ready and available to you. And then you wanna make sure you have GarageBand. Now this may be installed on your iPhone already. If it's not, you can open your app store, type in GarageBand at the top. It's a free application. It is quite large, I believe it's about 1.57 gigabytes, which is pretty big, so it may take a while to install. But once we're done the video and you've installed your ringtones, you can actually delete that application and free up that space as well. So those are the two things you wanna have prepared at the moment. And now we're gonna start off by opening up Safari and we're gonna go to a website called zedge.net. Now this is an application I've used in the past. They're not sponsored by me or anything like that. It's just an application that's gonna allow you to download ringtones for free. Now you can use other sites like Cellbeat or any application you want. The point is we wanna download our ringtone to our iPhone and this is what we're gonna use for this example. So go to that page and then we'll just tap up top here and let's go to browse now. And this app is going to allow you to download ringtones, wallpapers, all those kinds of things. So we're just going to select ringtones. You can search for them up top if you want, or you can just go through some of these options right here. For this example, I'm going to use the Hockey Night. You can tap on it. It'll start playing. So you can tap on it. It'll open up. If it doesn't open right away, give it a second tap or tap away from that play button. It looks like it's ads and everything, but it's not. At the bottom here, it's giving you the download Zedge ringtone and wallpaper. It's prompting you to download the app. The app doesn't work for ringtones as well as this does. So we're gonna use this. We're gonna use the, use the browser option. So we'll click continue. It doesn't look like it's even clickable. We'll tap it again. And now it takes us to the actual song. You can tap to play it again or tap download and we have to wait a few seconds for it to begin. So that's why I strongly recommend you watch this video because there's a lot of little tedious taps you gotta do, especially with this app. So now that it's done, it prompts you right here for your download. We'll tap download again. And at the top, you'll notice that changed over to a sort of download icon, and that's our download manager in Safari. So if we tap on it, you can see the song or the ringtone you've chosen. You can tap on it, it'll open up in the area. It should be saving to your files. We'll tap the search icon. It opens up in my iCloud drive in my files application, and that's where it's located. So from there, we're done with Safari. We can go back to our home screen, and now we're going to open up GarageBand. All right, now if this is the first time you're opening GarageBand, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna tap continue, allow it or don't allow it, up to you, and it'll take you to a section like this. Now GarageBand is used in this landscape mode, so have your phone ready like this, and we're gonna swipe across to where we see audio recorder, and then just give that a quick tap. Wanna click okay on all the prompts here, so if you get a few of them, you can just tap okay. And then you wanna tap these three buttons right here, so we'll just give those a quick tap and that's gonna open up our timeline. Now the timeline is where we're gonna keep all of our ringtone that we just downloaded. First, we're gonna tap this little triangle here and that's going to take away some of the annoying sounds that may appear while we're trying to create this ringtone. Next, we're gonna tap this tiny little plus. You can kind of see it right there. We're gonna tap that plus on the top right and we're going to change the bars from 8 to 30. Now this is basically allowing us to use 30 seconds to create a ringtone, and that's the limit that you have for ringtones. Tap done. So now you can see the timeline sort of changed, and we'll click this circle here, circular, almost like a roller coaster option, and that's gonna bring up all of the media or music files that we have available to us on our phone. We're gonna use the files application here, but you can actually upload the music that you have maybe from your music library that's been uploaded from your computer. But from files, we're going to tap browse items from the files app. 
because that's where we download it. It should automatically open to your recent tab. If it doesn't, just search around here. You can go to the browse, downloads, it should appear. Give it a tap. A few seconds, it'll appear. Once it appears, you're gonna hold on the actual file and then you're gonna drag it over into the timeline, like so. Now that we have the ringtone in our timeline, we can actually play around with it. For us, if you're downloading from Zedge, most of the ringtones are already under 30 seconds. You can see that all the way over here is where the 30 second mark ends. This one's only about 12 and a half seconds, so we don't really have to make any modifications at this point. We could just give it a quick listen and then we can save it. If you have a ringtone or you downloaded a song using a different website that's longer than 30 seconds and you want to trim it down, it's pretty simple. First, just tap on the actual timeline where the file is, and then you can drag the end. It's a little bit tedious here with the iPhone, but you can drag on the end like so and shorten it in the same fashion. You can also tap again. It'll bring up some options. So if you want to split down the middle, change the name of it right here, you can do so as well. So if you want a full tutorial on how to use GarageBand, just search on YouTube, but those are the main two, splitting it up and then kind of dragging the edges to shorten it. Once you do make your changes, tap the play button so you can quickly listen to it. It'll begin playing. I've got mine connected to my Bluetooth so it doesn't cause any copyright issues. And if everything is fine, you can then click on this arrow at the top left and you'll see the section here, it says my songs. Tap on that and that's going to save your song. And you can see that I have a few here, my song two, that's the newest one. I have a couple that I was playing around with, but we can change the name from here. We'll just tap and hold on the file, tap rename. And I'm just gonna X that out and we're just gonna call this one new ringtone. And then we'll click done. So in the same fashion, we're gonna tap and hold on the file here, and now we're gonna actually share it. So we're gonna pull down to the bottom, you'll see the share icon, and we're gonna share it so that we can create this and turn it into a ringtone, text tone, or an alert tone. So we'll tap share, some options here, we're using ringtone, so give that a tap. Now it's prompting me, telling me that my ringtone needs to be 30 seconds or less. That may be because I had a little bit of a file piece left over or anything, maybe I had it pushed a little bit too far over and so on. You can just tap continue. If you get this, it'll trim it down or fix it so that it fits right. And we can change the name again. I have it set to new ringtone. If I want to change it, I can tap on it. It'll bring up this. I'll leave it as it is and we'll just tap export. Give it a few seconds here and it's exporting it as a ringtone. Now from here, you can tap use sound as and it'll take you through the process of adding it as a ringtone so it appears automatically as the ringtone or text tone for you. But just to keep things simple here, we'll tap OK and we'll exit GarageBand. So now from our home screen, we're gonna open our settings application and we're gonna tap on sounds and haptics. Now from here, you're gonna see all of your ringtones and alert tones and the different options that you've have created or set up for them. So for me, we just created one. We're gonna change our ringtone to that one that we just added. So usually they're at the top. You can see I have quite a few here. All right, and the one that we just created was called New Ringtone. So all I have to do is tap on it. It's actually playing right now, so we'll just go back. And now you can see that my ringtone is called New Ringtone, the one I just created. And what's great about this is that you can access this in any one of your alerts. So if you're trying to change your text tones, we just scroll down here, you can see there we have them, all the ones that I've created. Same thing if we go into some of our other alerts, even your reminder alerts can be used that we just added them in here. So any of these, and you can add all kinds. I got Super Mario Brothers, I have some Christmas tones. The new tone I have right now is the Hockey Night in Canada theme song. So there's tons that you can choose from and they're all available there from the zedge.net site. Again, they're not a sponsor, it's just what I use and they're the easiest for myself and usually for the tutorial videos. But that's pretty much how you're going to add them all in. And like I said, you can then delete the GarageBand app when you're done, try and free up a little bit of space there as well. And then if we go back in our settings, you can still see that my ringtone here is still available right there, new ringtone, the one we just created. So it's totally up to you if you wanna delete the app after the fact, but that is it. That's how you can add ringtones to your iPhone. Again, you need iOS 13. I hope it helped you. If you need any help or have any questions throughout the process, 
leave a comment in the comment box and I'll do my best to help you out. I try to respond to every comment that comes my way. If you found this video helpful, let me know as well. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos and click the bell notification box to be notified on your phone as soon as I drop a new one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.